Hello, I'm Dr. Michael Jarman here with Pediatric Foot and Ankle. When I was 12 years old, I was at my grandfather's house and I just started running track and I was wearing a pair of shoes similar to these, which were pretty much destroyed. My grandfather said, son, you need a new pair of shoes. So we jumped in the car and we drove to the shoe store and we walked in and there were shoes everywhere. And I was super excited. My grandfather walked over to the wall of shoes and he picked up the classic grandpa shoe that had the New Balance logo on the side and said, this is what you need. I about died thinking there was no way I was wearing that to the school because again, I was 12 years old. But it was a gift from my grandfather and I wore those shoes and I wore them every day. They were my favorite shoes. I love them. And as you can see today, we've taken a field trip to the New Balance shoe store here in Chandler, Arizona. And I'd like to thank them, of course, for letting us film here today. If you've been to my office, you'll see them always wearing good athletic tennis shoes at work and at home. Not because I want to practice what I preach, but because I know the benefits of wearing good shoe gear. Children often do not appreciate what it feels like to have their feet stop hurting until someone puts a good pair of shoes on their feet. Every day in the office, I get asked by parents, what type of shoe should I have my child in? So I want to speak generally about some very specific features that every child's shoe should have. I do want to say I am referring to children four and up and that if your child does not have pain, then it may not matter what shoe they wear. However, if you have an active child that does sports or heavy ground and pound activities, you should seriously consider a good stability shoe. In general with shoes, you get what you pay for. Budget shoes as these ones here, which were actual shoes I confiscated from a patient, have completely deteriorated and provided no stability or shock absorbance. When looking at a shoe for your child, there are three basic elements that they must have. First, they need to have a firm sole that does not bend in half. It should only bend where the toes bend. Second, they must have a solid heel counter to hold the heel firmly, keeping it from rocking side to side. And third, they must have laces. And this is to allow a better fit and allow orthotics to be fitted into the shoe. My job as a physician is to accurately diagnose your child's condition, educate, and provide solutions. Many conditions I treat can be significantly improved or resolved with the use of custom orthotics, but they must be placed into a good pair of shoes. This is why I always recommend to parents to come to a shoe store like this, where someone has been trained and will correctly fit your child into the right size, width and type of shoe. If your child is struggling with pain or fatigue in their feet or legs, that just does not seem to go away. Please call our office today and have your child evaluated. I'm Dr. Michael Jarman. Thanks for watching.